Welcome to Jingly Bells and the busiest night of the year for the elf in each one of us. Santa is counting on you as part of an elf crew mixed between new apprentices and seasoned professionals to help quiet a neighborhood on the evening of December 24th. Anyone with a childlike spirit from nine to 99 and above is more than welcome to save the neighborhood you've been assigned to. Your neighborhood assignment comes in this manila folder. In the envelope, you'll find everything you need, from the technology to keep an eye on the carolers and on Santa's sleigh, to special fix-it cards that allow you to anticipate fixes for the kind of traps Big Brother Billy is setting up on the neighborhood rooftops this year. He's still upset about the year he got a pet rock. Always use your instruction manual and resource guide from the envelope to set up places like your elf fix-it pile where all your gadgets will go and will help you to follow the order of operations. The first order of business is to see how your neighborhood is structured. The long green pieces will help with that. They'll show you that there are seven homes in this neighborhood to be set in a triangle pattern. The next step is the house setup. This is two sequences of randomized shuffling. Once with the problem inside the house on the golden cards, and once with the rooftop trap cards that are a lovely shade of roof brown. The side with the problem on it to be solved will always be on top at the start of the game and the roof fits right on top of the home, your neighborhood structure wouldn't be complete without the gray sidewalk caroler tracker either. This sidewalk is where the carolers walk around the outside of the houses, keeping the home occupants awake and distracting you elves from doing your job. What kind of caroler outfit is still out caroling at 9 p.m. on December 24th anyways? They're clearly up to no good. You'll fill in the neighborhood triangle with snow spirit fix-it cards in a minute. But first, let's talk about what surrounds the neighborhood. Your official Jingle Red Santa Sleigh Jingle Tracker card and Jingle Bells for the tracker should be nearby the Caroler Arc. Both the Jingle Tracker and the Caroler Track have icons to be placed at specific start points, noted in your manual. This helps to calibrate location and make sure you can keep track of the evening at optimal performance and pace, while Santa and the carolers both move down their own dotted lines. Every neighborhood you fix is going to be a bit different, and a challenge all on its own. One thing to consider as an elf is how cooperative do you want to be? Or, is friendly competition more your thing? Either way, now you choose the elf you'll play to fix the neighborhood. Each player takes their elf character card featuring special abilities and their classic holiday elf portrait. If you're playing with a full crew of five to seven elves, you'll place the portrait over the red short crew power. Or vice versa, if the opposite is true. The short crew power for three to four elves is in red, and the full crew power is in green. Set the portrait atop the side you're not using. That way, you'll have no distractions and can always easily see from the character card exactly what you can do while fixing your neighborhood. Each of the seven elves comes with a name plate, and the chosen ones will be placed right at home one. The final step of setup is where you marry the neighborhood part of the board with your individual elf powers. Each elf has a certain number of spirit tokens that they begin with based on elf seniority and a certain number of spirit fix-it cards they take from the middle of the triangle. Notice how the cards have been arranged in a triangle pattern, all their own for you to pick your personal starting number from. Over the years, the official certified ELF instruction manual has gone through a few revisions. So now it's the most efficient and snappiest version of itself that it has ever been. 
The main thing to know about the mandatory four-step process of securing the neighborhood is that you'll always move in a loop. Starting at home one, you'll move around the neighborhood clockwise and use your own procured gadgets. Fellow elf comrades and the elf fix-it pile to keep Santa from getting too close and to keep the carolers from making a full loop of the neighborhood on their own track. Because if either Santa or the carolers finish their tracks before all the homes are fixed and flipped to the elf magic is love side, the game is lost and Santa passes by the neighborhood without gifts for anyone. The four step process ensures you'll have your best chance of keeping that from happening. And if you ever get lost, just check out your elf character card to see exactly what it is you can do. This is all just a glimpse of jingly bells and the choices you and your fellow elf crew will make over the course of your evening saving your neighborhood during one of the chilliest but most anticipated nights of the year. Be safe, have fun, and always carry an extra jingly bell or two for when you need it most.